Who do you think you are? I'm Chef Gregory. Welcome back to Cooking with Gregory. Today we're gonna make jambalaya. First we're gonna start by chopping up some bell peppers, some onions. Three celery sticks. Wash them off. Ian James on the beat. Back you go. Now that we have our holy trinity, plus one, we're gonna start our cooking process with a good spoonful of bacon grease. Just a little more, because we got a lot of stuff. While they're having fun having a bath in bacon grease, we're going to put this on low heat. They can have a bath for 15 minutes. Hi! Now we're going to start putting a whole lot of meat together. And we're going to start with that chicken. Ugh. Die! If it wasn't dead before, sure is now. Let's start with andouille sausage. Jambalaya is a lot of work. Boy, you don't see that every day, do you? Well, sometimes you gotta grab your meat and be aggressive with it. Hey, yo! Just added a tablespoon of butter to that for good measure. And we're gonna mix it every few minutes. See how it's doing. All right, we've killed several animals so far, but I still want to do more. What else can we kill?
thinking? Got him. I'll throw the rest of them away. If you can't get yourself a Bigfoot to kill, you can use ham. Preferably Tesso ham. But whatever. You do you. I'm doing Bigfoot. Hmm. Bigfoot cuts pretty good. Now that our onions and celery and bell peppers have been sweating around and swimming in bacon grease, so they're all nice and happy, we're going to take them out of the happy zone. Please, you want more bacon grease? You'll get more soon. Just tell them whatever they need to hear. In our pot, with a couple of teaspoons of butter. We're gonna add all that dead animal. Put that on medium heat. And we're going to brown them for a good five minutes. Now because this is jambalaya, that pot isn't big enough. So get the biggest pot you've got. That's the one. This is where we're going for our final destination. Well, the final destination is the toilet, but well, getting complicated here. We're gonna want two and a half cups of rice. Any rice you want. Long grain's great. If you don't have long grain, you can use. Minute rice, I guess. Yuck. Now we're gonna put some green onion in. How much? Yeah. No. At least that much. At least that much. Make sure you get the insides. This is called a green onion, also known as a scallion. So we want two and a half cups of chicken stock. Okay. That's chicken stock, honest. My pants are up. Now we're going to move all of our stuff to a bigger pot. Starting with our veggies. Woo. Oh, I can see you there. Now we're going to add some stuff to the pot, like two and a half cups of chicken stock. Bet Bigfoot's glad he died for this. We're gonna put a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. We're gonna put in a can of diced tomatoes. Cause why not? Well, that's one reason not to do it. A can of tomato paste. Ugh. Get out of there. Sure looks like a lot of dead animals to me. Mm -mm. Now we're going to add two and a half cups of rice. Well, that blew it. Oops. 
Who puts raw rice into anything? Oh well, guess we'll have to have trainees again. Oh wait. What happens if you stir it around? Well, it looks disgusting. But besides that, we can, uh, oh man, it's ruined. Oh, let's face it, this is disgusting. Almost forgot the bay leaf. In case this turns out to be okay, I'm gonna put a bay leaf in it. Let's just, uh, that. no one will know it's there. Now it's time to kill another animal, or many. We're gonna add some shrimp. That beeping sound means it's done. Now it's time to remove that leaf and add that shrimp. Here we are gathered. All the animals that gave their lives for this one dish. I <laughs> love it. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. It's time to eat. Mmm, mmm. Doesn't that look, hey, stay over there. Doesn't that look good? It's been through some wars. In a few dozen decades. <laughs> Dinner's ready! Are you enjoying this beat? Change on the feet.